In this video, I'm going to show you how you can combine text equal method that you learned in one of the first videos in this course and the basic concept of selectors that you learned in the in some of the previous videos. So let me start with an easy example. So we have, um, let's take a look at Facebook. So um, assume we have a data table with a list of Facebook pages. Um, either you put it together yourself or your taskbot actually saved those pages to your data table. And now you want to like the pages that are inside the data table. So what you could do is simply use text equals like. And even though there are many like buttons, but because this is the first one on the page, uh, this one is going to be taken. So in fact, let's um, try it out. I've already set up here a building block process website. And as you can see, I already entered text equals double quote like. So make sure to use double quote. Make sure to also use capital L um, as it is right here. And with this, I can uh, click on that. Um, on that button and like that page. Uh, just a few words as a side note on this on this workflow itself. As you can see, I'm using a loop to tell my taskbot to actually loop through these uh, rows inside the data table and then open the link from the data table from the column page, Facebook page link. Right now, I just have two profiles and you may have uh, dozens or hundreds. So let's run it and Let's see whether that button is liked. So here's the first profile that the taskbot opens. And as you can see, it likes that page. And now it also likes the second one. Now let me get to the actual point I'm trying to make. So how do you combine? So in that case, there is no need to combine anything, right? But what if you actually want to like the latest post. Now you want to click on this button like, but uh, because there are multiple like buttons on this page, you somehow need to narrow it down to just this section. And this is where you can, where you actually can combine the other concept that you learned with this text method. So let's click on inspect. Let's open our console and let's see uh, how can we somehow narrow down um, the selector to just this section and then use that text uh, equals. So here, for example, by analyzing these different attributes and uh, values, you can see on Facebook, usually the values are really um, are quite cryptic. So not really, nothing really unique that can be used this way. But there is, for example, this attribute, which looks quite unique and it's called area described by. Uh, and in fact, we can just try to use that and see if this will work. So I'm hitting arrow up for my latest command document query selector all. I'm going to use div. Uh, and I'm going to use um, area described by, enter. Um, and as you can see here, the right selector uh, is selected. Don't worry about the items in the list because this is a list. And as I mentioned, there are items inside it and I will explain it in later videos. Um, whenever you use this selector and whenever you do not uh, sort of specify which item you want to, to use in the list, then just simply the first one is going to be taken. And that's okay for us because we just want to like the last post. We don't really care at this stage uh, about the other post inside that list of posts. All right. Now, if I use this selector, so let me copy it and um, let me edit this selector. And I'm going to add it here. Now, what I can do is that I can add, um, I can filter it by a text. So simply use two greater than signs. Um, and this means uh, you are setting a filter. So you're saying you are using that selector, but you are adding an additional filter by sort of and with this, you're sort of telling the board within that selector, which corresponds to this whole post area. And it contains of many elements, right? It contains here of the date, of the text, uh, video link, and so on. Click on the element 
that has the text like. So this is what is happening if you are using it uh, like this. With this, uh, the taskbot is going to search for the like button inside that element and will ignore everything else, including, for example, this button. And I'm going to unlike so that uh, when I run the test, but now you will see that it doesn't click here anymore, but instead it clicks on the like button of the post. All right, now let's run this task bot. It opens the first profile, as you can see, and let me, and as you can see, it liked this page. It was a little bit fast. It scrolls down and it likes this page too. Not page, sorry, post. This is exactly what we wanted to achieve. And uh, this is how you can do it and how you can combine some of the basics that you already know and that you learned about selectors plus the, um, the text filter in this case. All right, thanks for watching.